So ahead of tomorrow's episode of Agatha All Along, I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I've neglected to discuss. That being what exactly were Agatha's motives in killing Alice. Since the first episode, Agatha has been maintaining this illusion that she is just this nefarious scheming witch, though it's become very clear that she is forming bonds with her makeshift coven. Yes, her objective from the beginning was to obtain her power back from the witch's road, and she's made it very obvious that she doesn't care if the others have to die in order for her to get it, but the witch's road has really changed Agatha for the most part. There's been a theory going around that Agatha's trial was to kill another member of the coven. This is why when Alice died, the door to the exit immediately opened up. It seemed like this trial really changed who Agatha was. She showed remorse for Alice's death and made it clear that she knows who Teen's mother is now. But what was her true motive in all of this? Is she continuously deceiving the rest of the coven? Or was the trial's main objective to turn all of the witches on Agatha? And will this series see the death of Agatha Harkness, or will this just be the beginning of her true reign in the MCU? Let us know what you think down in the comments below, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and click on screen for another video.